perspective of her friend, who is only known by his poetic name of pain, and it follows his story of his grief after the traumatic experience and how he tries to move on from the things that happened to him and to the other characters in the story. So the whole book, it's called The Last Poem, the whole book is all, it's all entirely one poem. So I'm just going to start reading, probably I'll read the first 15 minutes of this book. Okay. The Last Poem. The rustling of the wind on the trees. The warmth of the sun against my cheeks. The leaves of autumn falling. In all of these I remember serenity. I am writing all these words on my first day at university. The world is quieter than I would like it to be. Sitting in the classroom reading the PDF she sent me less than a year ago. I will write a book of my own and share it with the world. Last summer I had trouble sleeping. Last summer I had trouble believing that I would ever be the person I was before again. However, all things change, change, it's just a matter of time. For the rest of this year, I will spend it drinking and seeing her face in the faces of strangers. But then her face disappears. All we are is dust in the wind. All we are is the anthem of nations. All we are is the summers we have forgotten. Someone came up to me and said, Pain, you will feel better. It just takes a little time. I feel an energy inside of me pushing me never to stay in one place again. I never should have believed anything Serenity said. I was an idealist. I had faith in a God I'd never see. She never had any faith, even in the visions of her I would see. This will be the longest poem I will ever write. This will be the last poem I will ever write. An end to my short career as a poet. I promise you I will never write one again. All my other words will be plain and simple. Pure and easy to understand. But these words you must decipher. Find out what I mean. To uncover the torture inside me, to figure out why we together are still a need. When I'm in a room with a hundred students, I feel crowded and have to leave. When I'm in a room all by myself, I feel compelled to leave. But where will I go when there's nowhere to go? Uninspired words come from everyone I see. The rest of my life will be so dull. This will be the only thing I do that is interesting. I'm still sitting in this classroom crafting PDF. The words I say now are perfect. No one will ever explain it better later. There are thousands of images in my mind. In the countryside far from here, it is beautiful. In the heavens, the stars go on forever. There are worlds we will never find. Here on Earth, we express what we feel about the things we can never reach. Love is one of these things which we may never attain. To live your life with no one there for you, to watch every person walk by. I can stand on my own two feet, but I am not better off than you. At the party, we drink till we can't drink anymore, to put temporary end to our misery, drowning out the sorrow through wine. I feel so sorrowful whenever I come back to my hometown. I feel so regretful when I think of everything I could have done. There is something, not an emotion, but close to it, not a virtue, but close to it, not a person, but close to it, that I have been longing for, but I'm convinced I will never find. Long ago, I was lying alone in, in a tent, dreaming about not forgotten memories. Long ago, I was young. Long ago, I thought I would never be taken from my home. Long ago, I thought my home would never be burned to the ground. I see the world change. You have filled me with joy. I see the world writhe in its misery. I am being drowned in the water of uncertainty. A typewriter that will never be used to write beautiful words ever again. I see the world change. I feel powerless to intervene. We have an opportunity to be who we never thought we could become. If no one will be listening in the world, we will not see any changes. Drugs inside your veins make it impossible to feel truth. I walked by you and I thought I saw in one of your faces the face of serenity. Despair has overcome me. I no longer believe, believe in the things I see. To become so close to nothingness is the way I want to live. Sleep and dream about kingdoms of war and all the lies I've told in my life. I still see her sitting alone in, front of, in the middle of the school in front of her locker. Poetry, she said, is a sacrament. You certainly know when you have it, but no one can define it. On the first day of class when I met Serenity, she didn't say a word, but emailed her PDF poetry book to the entire school the next day. The monster who ended her life is gone. We will never have today again. After she left this world, I left her behind. I left all my past memories behind. Nothing I now see is beautiful. Serenity comes to me in my dreams, saying, thank you for holding on to me. When all I want is to forget her, she reminds me of the torture of my soul. She reminds me that I will never admire a poem again. 
because you know where poetry is, and I will never have it again. Meeting friends at a coffee shop, a woman asking about, approaching asking about a Bible study. I will worship God at the altar of broken beer bottles, and by abandoning the last sacrament I will ever intake. Form, matter, and intention are all gone now. This is the last poem I will ever write. I say it once, and never say it again. Experience so many beautiful things. Once you've experienced death, nothing again will be beautiful. We are all replaceable. We are too destructible. Snow falling in November. My face is freezing. The feeling I get when I can barely move my lips because of how they are freezing. The moment I saw her standing alone in the cold snow, she was freezing and there was no one there to help her. When the words failed to come, heart attacks suddenly approaching, overcoming, overwhelming, telling us who we are, but after the heart attack, we will not know anything ever again. Say goodbye after all we've tried without you here. Nothing is clear, falling in, always falling into an ocean where finding you is like finding the shore. Sitting through another boring lecture and then the class ends. And I walk the streets of the campus. And then I walk the streets of the city, contemplating the poverty there. And then I'm dreaming on the floor of the sidewalk. And then I don't get up for several years. And then I watch the stars go. And then it all goes black. There are feelings inside me that you will never know. On the altar of my sorrow, I place my soul. Maybe we're just disenchanted and can't tell what's real. On the altar of my anguish, I place my heart. The things that I've lost remind me of the torture that annihilates the stars. I feel for her now. I'm reaching for her now. Underneath my skin, my beating heart is crying out. Destroy me and recreate me. Wash me away and take me far from here. If she was still alive, there would be no more elevation. Higher than the mountains, together we would be spiritually united, pure and holy and static. Songs could never could describe any of the feelings we would share. I would feel underneath her skin. Her life force should be surging throughout her. I know I would always love her. She is the motion that moves the entire world when, the, when it is frozen. She is the cure for the slow passing seasons when we would stay inside daydreaming. But instead, we will find what we dream about. She is the freedom in the moments when the chains of time attack us. Destroy the world and live in a new one. We will live together and endure the, endure the unending heat of, of the unending cold of the old world when the sun is gone. We will live together and endure the unending heat of the new world. I know my imperfection is causing me to lose control. I feel so many things at once. The only way of resurrection is to die and rise again. There is no way to perfection except to know the flaws and love them too. To fall in love with what's inside. Choose where truth, beauty, and the depth of melodies collide. And I struggle to describe the melodies that I hear. Colliding and meshing. Creating new music. We are the music. We can be each note slowly inhabiting the world. But we quickly leave and are never seen here again. We also have strong and powerful emotions welling up inside us for the short time we are here. That beg to be expressed forever and after. But these can all be taken away. When the gun... The knife is pressed up against us, when we are freezing, when we are burning, when we are thrown from a great height. I struggle to find the answers, and I will never believe it again when I am told that you just believe you will live forever. I saw the love in Serenity's eyes. I saw truth, eternal life, in a single moment with her. The rest of eternity is spent dreaming with no transitional object. I will travel through the rest of my life. The wind moves slowly across my back as I put the note both in my backpack, and then stand in the snow and walk to the next class. Another boring lecture, another day when the sun is covered by the clouds. I ignore the lecture and pick up the notebook and begin to write. The cycle of creation, the rain falling on my doorstep, the truth you will never find about what you were thinking now that you have passed away. I feel so at peace only when I am writing. I feel awake when I am dreaming. And then the years pass as I when I am awake. The cycle of the passing years, in your room playing Halo 2, in the car driving through the snow, now I'm walking through the snow, leaving footprints wherever I go. When I'm feeling the strongest feelings I will ever feel, and there are no words in my mind to express them, I know the rest of my life will be wasted time. Melody inside my mind, movement. A song that needs to be put to words. What counts is the music, but no one will understand it, unless I describe it to them. I look up and the clouds have revealed the sun, cold nostalgia enveloping me from every side. There are words to describe things I don't understand. There are no words to describe things we will never understand. I walk again through the hallways and I forget wh where I was for a few moments. When the day is over, I will fall asleep and have more drinks and have more dreams about realms I will never visit. 
and that we all have magical powers, and that words will always change the world. I will have more drinks than I should at a party. I will fall asleep again and dream again, and the dreams are always the same. I hold your hand through the prison window, and you grasp onto it. I follow you out of the prison, and you lead me to fields of green, where I will never have to worry about what other people think of me, or schoolwork, or being alone again. You tell me, today is the first day of eternity. It is longer than you think. It goes on forever and ever, and there is nothing after or before. And we touched hands and saw all different galaxies spinning out of place. We saw volcanoes exploding, destroying entire cities. We saw the hopes of worlds ending and the birth of worlds beginning. We saw the days pass where I sat alone dreaming about serenity. And she said that there would be no more despair. We walked through the streets of Beijing and Tokyo, Paris and New York, all on the same day. She showed me the slums and far off lands where some people live with nothing. She told me that no one ever has nothing. She told me that peace is found in letting go of the things that you hold dear and holding on to love. We saw the days pass and become nights a million times over. We saw the world change and the balance of power change. We saw the presidents of nations long overthrown. My heart was stripped of the desire to ever go home again. It is better to always be a wayfarer, running from city to city, from nation to nation, from world to world, from galaxy to galaxy, from universe to universe, all in a day and a thousand millennia. We were young and we were brave when we were both alive. Now we are totally fearless and we will never age again. She showed me the harmony between all things, how we all belong together, and she said, you should have learned all of these things while you were alive. The days still pass, but they pass like seconds. The war would continue, and then with nations surrendering their freedoms, and I watched as one by one they laid down their arms, and everyone lived the rest of their lives under the yoke of a new order, and people started to live each day without anything to look forward to. And it was grueling, but the night drew back, and the curtain of the dawn drew back, and the sun shone upon the world, and everyone created something beautiful together, and grew to love what they had created and knew that they had to protect it with their hearts and minds and bodies. And then we left the earth and saw the stars dancing and the galaxies oops, sorry, and the galaxies beckoning us to come closer to them. We felt joy when we realized how an ending time was. And then we met all the people who had passed away like us. We saw the faces of presidents and judges. We saw the faces of celebrities and kings, but we never talked to any of them. We quickly drifted past them all for the dawn and creation of a new world, where new people will walk and live their lives. We saw the world destroyed. We saw what we used to love purged in flames. All books we loved were burned. All homes we lived in were flattened. All the people we loved were murdered. All life on earth was ended. But the spirits survived for a while and hovered over the oceans, wondering why the world suddenly came to an end. Half of them didn't believe it had happened to them. Some talked to others and questioned each other, but they didn't recognize each other and didn't believe that they were talking to their own spouse when they saw them in the void of time floating over the oceans. We saw the school where they bullied us, right? And we didn't see a soul there. They had all moved on from those hallways, but the demons still lived there, living in celebration because of the agony they caused. We saw our old homes flattened and destroyed, and then the fire started to spread, and we saw our old homes burning in fire. And I, I took Serenity's hand as it burned, and we watched the world face its judgment, in the fire, I saw God telling us that we now regret our mistakes and that we must live with these mistakes forever and after. I saw the wheels on the cars stop and the people had fled from their cars and traffic. I saw the animals run through the deserts and the forests and the plains. I saw pet dogs that were left alone in their homes. They would never see their owners again. I had always wanted to be far away from where I'm comfortable. I'm stronger than anyone ever believed and I've started to feel for everyone who ever lived. And Serenity said, Pain, you are the one I dream about when I become one with all things and nothing. And I said, Now I understand everything and possess all knowledge. When the world is destroyed, we know it will come back to us. So that was the first 15 minutes of the last poem. Yeah, Joey, woo!